you are about to see how Lamar Jackson from the Baltimore Ravens spends his money. Currently, Jackson is the highest paid player in the NFL after he signed a five-year contract with the Ravens that's worth $260 million and a sign-in bonus of $72.5 billion. He doesn't have an agent, which means he gets to keep 100% of all that dough. So with that much cash coming in, we just have to see how he spends his money. Everyone knows Lamar Jackson started playing football at a very young age, and his mom even got him a private coach to help bolster his skill. His mom, Felicia Jones, swore to give her son and his three siblings a good life after her husband, Lamar Jackson, died in 2005 in a car accident. After all the sacrifices, you can bet that she was the first person Jackson was spending on when he got his first NFL paycheck. Jackson got signed to the Baltimore Ravens in 2018 for a rookie deal of about $9.4 million and an annual salary of $2,367,912. And according to Jackson, the first thing he did with his first paycheck was buy his family house. He purchased a $900,000 home in Owing Mills, Maryland. That's said to be a 7,995 square foot and has eight bedrooms, five bathrooms, two half baths, and it is fully enriched with a marble tiled two-story grand foyer, two fireplaces, a library, a massive kitchen, and a fantastic master suite, not to mention a pretty neat outdoor pool. The best part is the home is only 20 minutes away from the Ravens practice facility, so it's extremely convenient. If you think the massive mansion is the only thing Jackson splurged on, then you have another thing coming, because Jackson has shown time and time again that he has a taste for expensive jewelry. The NFL superstar started his jewelry collection with a bang. He had a customized gold chain made by the Miami-based jewelry company, Stax Custom Jewelry, as a way of celebrating his stardom at the cost of about $100,000. This was because the chain had a very special pendant. It was a golden replica of him doing his famous hurdle against the Syracuse defender. It was one of those moments in his life that Jackson felt had to be immortalized. This chain signifies one of the greatest moments in his career which not only won him the Heisman Trophy in 2016, but it also highlights Jackson's skill as a quarterback. The pendant is made out of 285 grams of gold and 25 carats of VVS diamonds, and it took about three weeks to make, as the makers wanted to properly capture every detail of that hurdle. But that's not the only piece of jewelry Jackson has. He's also been seen with another chain, except this base is with a wild dog embroidered with different diamonds and it's estimated to be above $50,000. Lamar Jackson likes wearing name-brand designer clothes, particularly Gucci, and he doesn't hesitate to show his iced-out wrist with his Cuban link bracelet, worth up to $10,000. But what about his cars? Well, Jackson doesn't hold back when it comes to buying expensive rides. He owns a Mercedes-Benz SL 500 grand edition, which is about $125,000, a Rolls-Royce Wraith, which costs a whopping $343,000, and we're just getting started. When it comes to sports cars, Lamar Jackson also owns a Lamborghini Aventador, which goes from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 2.9 seconds. How much does it cost? That would be $417,826, and he's not even done. This boy owns a Bentley Continental GT that's sold at $202,500 and a Mercedes Maybach S650. Lamar Jackson may play on the field, but he doesn't play when it comes to buying high-end vehicles. On the surface, it may seem that the NFL player only knows how to spend his money rather carelessly. But let's not forget that Jackson is expected to earn a massive $72.5 million at the end of the year. But the thing is, that's not his only source of income. Outside of being a star quarterback, Jackson is also an entrepreneur. He owns his own clothing line where he sells his own merch, called Era 8 Apparel, bearing his signature dog logo. The best part is Era 8 Apparel is no way connected to the Ravens or any other external brand. It's all owned by him, so all the proceeds that come from that eventually go into his pockets. He also has endorsement deals with Oakley, which he signed in 2020, and Pro Era VR. Not a lot of sponsors for a player of Jackson's status, right? That's mainly because Jackson doesn't have an agent, so he doesn't have deals with big companies like Nike or Adidas. But even without those sponsorship deals, Action Jackson is still killing it. He's made some pretty great investments in the Florida-based soul food restaurant, and he also has his own charity called Blessings in a Backpack, which is a non-profit organization that provides food for elementary students. In 2021, Jackson's fans raised up to $400,000 for his charity, 
after Jackson got injured during the AFC Divisional Playoffs. Jackson later tweeted thanks to his fans for their contributions. Best believe that things didn't stop there, because even as his fans gave to him and his charity, Jackson also gave back to his fans. In April 2022, Jackson was seen giving out money to his fans and taking pictures at a store. And it's the simplicity of the whole situation that sets him apart from the rest of his peers. So that's how Lamar Jackson spends his money, from the expensive suburban homes to his fleet of cars and designer clothes and his never-ending need for customized jewelry. You can tell that this NFL superstar has a taste for the finer things in life. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Feel free to check out our other videos where we cover even more outlandish purchases of NFL superstars. And as always, thanks for watching.